And I know, I mean, officially you're the trade envoy to Ukraine. Goodness only knows how your job is affected. But I know you feel very emotionally caught up in this as well because you know people in Ukraine. Absolutely. And also, um, I am, uh, I have Russian blood. And like most Russian, I have also Ukrainian blood. And my grandfather was fighting against the Germans in Limburg, which is now Lviv. And my and the family then fled the Bolsheviks. So I have a lot, and this is probably even as a child when I became a conservative, because I know what a dictatorial regime is like. And what I'm seeing now, I mean, I don't think anybody can look at any of those pictures without wanting to cry. I mean, it's devastating, barbaric. And Putin, what he's doing, he's going back to what the Soviet Union was. He closed all the borders. Now, uh, people in Russia uh, can't leave. Um, they're um, scared. They are arrested. I mean, we've all seen also pictures of people being who dare demonstrate and their children be ta being taken to prison. And then this unprovoked barbaric war I mean, it's, you know, you can't just watch the pictures and not feel like crying for the population of Ukraine, also crying for the kindness of the Poles. I mean, how many people they are accepting. It's fantastic. And Zelensky, a hero uh, um, who is still standing there and willing his people to fight on. And we can only hope that the Russian army will be demolarized.